All right, so just finished watching Kogia's episode 10. Lelouch, man. Lelouch. Yo, the dude is a master planner, man. I can't take nothing away from the dude. Him and Cornelia is in this boxing match right now. You know what I'm saying? He throws a jab. She's throwing the hook. He's throwing the, the uppercut. It's just the back and forth. I'm loving that as in strategy, brain power. I think off the IS order. I think the two of them are like head on right now. Of course, Lelouch has an advantage because because of the um, the Gias, right? So it's like, I love what he's doing right now to capture her. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen in, in the next episode. I really don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. She's going to weasel out of this somehow. But the strategy, man, and that Grin Mark II is a problem, bro. I don't think it's on the level of the Lancelot, but I still think it's a problem. If it can do that, um, I mean, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, if it can do that, you, you don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance. I mean, the thing was basically, it's radiation. It was radiation, and I don't think, um, I don't think Mr. Orange, I don't think he died. I don't think he died. That was funny, though, when Lelouch called him orange. That was so funny. Look at his face like, oh, 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 how dare you? <laughs> you know, that was funny. So um, I'm definitely enjoying this, man. There's not a lot to laugh about, but at the same time, just it keeps your attention, like, on the screen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to know what's going to happen, what's going to happen. So... Um, Cornelia and them decided to go take out the Japanese Liberation Front, which is another faction of resistance um, against Britannia, right? So they decided, they found out about the base and decided to do that. Little did they know that um, Zero fi found out about it, went up there and set, and, and, and set up and waited on them. Went there before them and, and waited on them. And when he... he I see what he was trying to do when the guy was like, man, you got us trapped up here and blah, 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 blah. I think Lelouch did this. I think he did this on purpose because the last time he tried to command them, they completely went off the rails and didn't listen to him. So now he put them in a situation where, guess what? You don't want to listen to me? You can shoot me right now. If you don't want to listen to me, you can shoot me right now or you can let me lead you out of this situation because the last time I led you, you, um, you know, before I led a group before and they completely went off rails and they all got killed because they were, they weren't listening to me. Right. Me, even myself almost got captured because of this bullshit. So now I'm putting you in a situation where you have to fight. You have to fight and you're going to have to listen to me because if you didn't believe in me, and I think that's what he's testing, he's testing them to see if they're actually loyal. You get what I'm saying? Or if they're just going to go off the, the rails again at like before, because he, because he doesn't want to end up in that situation again, which is the mark of a good leader, because let them decide, are you going to listen to me? Or are you going to get upset at my decisions every time I make a decision? Are you going to believe in me as a leader to get you out of this situation? Right? Because I didn't come up here without a plan. Because I wouldn't lead you um, into the enemy's hands just because, you know, I think I'm big and bold and whatever. Of course, Lelouch went up there with a plan. So I, I would think because I wasn't even worried because I know he went up there with a plan. He must have had a plan from the minute he was sitting in the room and he knew he, had, he, he wanted to go up there. He had a plan. He had a plan. And the plan is to capture. The plan is to capture the second princess of Britannia, which is um, Cornelia. I, as I said, I don't think they're going to succeed in doing that. But man, the nut bus face. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The nut bus face when they found out that the Black Knights were there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, but it's, um, Cornelia doesn't really know what to do. But she's a beast, though. She showed her leadership in this episode, which is, I like people who fight 
even though you're a leader, you need you also need to fight. I don't like guys that just stand back, sit back in a chair and give orders. You know what I'm saying? Um, you need to be on the front lines with your soldiers. They will respect you more. And she's taking the fight to everybody. You get what I'm saying? Like, she's taking the fight to them. She's not on the sidelines, like, in a ship. You know what I'm saying? Like, which is what she's entitled to do. She could do that if she wants to, but she's up front. And, I mean, if anybody deserves to be emperor, she does. I mean, you know, just talking about the other side, even though I'm not rooting for them, you know, I believe that she, out of all I've seen, Clovis was a bitch. We all know Prince Clovis was a bitch. Um, he didn't deserve to die in the way that he died um, with Lel um, Lelouch killing him. But at the same time, he, a, he he's a bitch. Let, let's just call it what it is. He's that type. He's the pretty boy. You know, let me sit back. Just do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Give people orders. Let them go and fight the wars while I enjoy these and, and look pretty all the time. You know? So I'm glad that Cornelia is not that type of girl. Yuffie decided to go along with her this time. And other than just wanting to be in a fight, I think she wants to understand more about this war that she's in that she's um that she knows that her country is in and she she wants to understand more and um and i think eventually maybe somewhere down the line in this anime she's gonna realize what's really going on you know what i'm saying and she's not and she's gonna disagree with a lot of things that britannia has been doing and i don't i don't see her joining the black knights per se um, but I think that she is going to come over to that side somehow, some way by way of Suzaku, because Suzaku has shown her a part of, a part of the world that she probably has never seen that she's probably heard about, but she's always wanted to see. And she got a glimpse of that. And she also got a glimpse of another faction in the last, ep in the last episode, episode, um, no, in, the, in episode eight, right? She got a glimpse of you know, just being under that to see what are their ideals, right? Because they were willing to kill everybody, you know what I'm saying? And these different factions, they all have different reasons for doing whatever they're doing. So it's like, who's right, who's wrong? You know what I'm saying? And uh, and to me, the, the Black Knights are not entirely right either in what they're doing. But it's just fun to see how how Lelouch is doing it. And I think at some point he's going to come to the real realization that, you know, I I'm happy with what they stand for. You know, they're the anti-hero vigilante um, type of thing that you're doing to get things done. You know what I'm saying? But you already know that I, I agree with him, but I also agree with some great points that Suzaku has made to him. Um, to get him to understand that not just because you're doing it for justice, that makes it right. The way how you're doing it is not right. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure if he finds out that Lelouch is zero, that he's going to have a, a big problem with it. Because it's like, you're kind of using terrorism. Is it, You know what I'm saying? But Lelouch is is making it known. He made it known in that speech. He said, listen, you got to be prepared to die if you are willing to kill. You got to be prepared to die. It's as simple as that. You know, so he's, he, he hates his family, man. He hates them with a passion, bro. Um, But, and I can understand why. I totally understand why. You know, but at the same time, man, I'm loving this anime so much. You guys know I'm enjoying it. Tell your friend I'm enjoying this, man. Bring in some more people to watch these reactions because... Um, right now we're getting somewhere around a hundred views per episode, um, per upload that I do, whether it's the review, whether it's the intro video and I'm down for it all, man. I'm down for it all. Thank you guys for watching as always. Hope you guys are enjoying my reactions. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure, remember to subscribe. This is the first time you're watching. Also leave a like on this video and also leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this episode episode 10 going into episode 11 hopefully i can get another episode out to y'all tomorrow or the day after but thank you guys for watching it's your boy terrible reacts and peace